I'm here as a newly elected city council member from Los Altos, where I defeated an incumbent in November, our mayor, on a platform of greater resident influence on what happens in our city. There's obviously been enormous work that's gone into this, and I applaud everyone's energy that has contributed to it. But for many reasons which have already been cited, this would be an inefficient, massive Band-Aid that doesn't address root causes, some of which I just heard addressed by Tess Wellborn's letter. It also completely ignores MTC's primary mission of solving transportation and traffic issues, which is a major contributor to our housing problem. Further, if you move forward without modifications that address local feasibility, you guarantee a massive reaction, a negative reaction, and resistance by local government. Members of the ABAG Executive Committee have articulated some of the problems of this being a tops-down, one-size-fits-all pseudo-solution that will cause problems with the ability of local governments to fund our infrastructures and critical services. Please listen to us. An additional problem is that the compact tries to shift funding of below market rate housing as well as the infrastructure that greater housing requires schools and transportation to residents instead of those who cause the problem. If you think local governments will welcome being relieved of needing to deal with housing proposals, if you think that we want a mandated ministerial approval process with setbacks and height limits and incentives mandated by long, you are wrong. The people elected us to make that decision. It is our job. I fully expect you will support this compact today, but I ask that if you do so, it goes forward with a recommendation for local government input before the executive committees of ABAG and MTC act on this matter and improperly represent that it somehow represents a consensus of local government, which it does not.